Hi everyone, my name is Phil Bolter. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to do a really fun project for our moms. We're gonna create a nice greeting card for Mother's Day. Since it's right around the corner, this is a fun and easy painting project that anyone can do at home. We're gonna be using our gouache paint, but you most certainly can use any acrylic paint that you have at home. We have several colors here and some paper and some brushes. And I'm gonna run through the items right now. And I have my Holbein Artist gouache paint and I'm using a burnt sienna, which is brown. I have a cadmium yellow. I have a permanent yellow orange. You can use any orange. I have a cadmium red. I have a lilac, which is a very light purple. I have a cerulean blue. You can use any blue you want. I have an olive green. And I also have a moss green. So I have two different uh, green colors going on here. And I also like to use a lot of my permanent white. If you've seen my tutorials, you definitely know I use a lot of this. For my brushes, I'm using Windsor & Newton Series 7 round brushes. I'm gonna start off by using a round number two. I have a round number one. I have a round zero. And I actually am gonna do quite a bit of the detail using this round double O, which is a very small brush. And then for a lot of this line work, we're gonna be using a liner brush. And this one I have from Princeton Heritage. It's a liner number two. And these are great for making long uh, lines, especially for these stems. You're also gonna to wanna to use a color palette or a painting palette. Right here, I have a butcher's pan. You can pick any one of these up uh, at your local art store for probably around $10, uh, depending on where you are. And I love to use this for my gouache paint, but you most certainly can use a painter's palette like this, which is a plastic painter's palette, and those run for about a buck. I also have an eraser and a pencil to do a little bit of the illustrating to know where my flowers are gonna be. And I like two jars of water, so one to wash my brush off and one to use for mixing my gouache paint. I also have a paper towel to wash and dry off my brush. Once you have all your materials, we can go ahead and create our illustration of what flowers we're gonna put and just kind of create a little bit of line work here to know where we're gonna paint. Our first step to create this wonderful card is to take a piece of paper and rip it in half. And that's what I did here. You could see that this was a full piece of paper and I just folded it in half and used this side to paint on. And we're gonna do that using this piece of paper right here. So go ahead, grab some watercolor paper for this, I used 140 pound hot pressed watercolor paper. I ripped it in half, and now I'm just gonna fold it on one of the sides. I kinda like this ripped area on the top, so I'm just gonna fold it this way. And use the bottom of my nail just to create a nice crease along the card. And before you paint this, you wanna make sure that the card opens in the right area. So I could either paint on this side or even paint on this side, depending on where you want this like ripped edge. I kinda like it on the top, so I'm gonna paint on this side. So like I said, before I paint, I like to just put a little bit of line work on my paper, just so I know where I'm going to be painting. And for that, this is a very simple illustration. So we're just gonna start with maybe where our flower is gonna be, maybe a couple areas where the stems are gonna be, certainly where we're gonna have Happy Mother's Day. So I'm gonna I have this little banner kind of running through like this. And kind of go off the edge there, kind of go up here. Now that we have some of our line work down to know where our flowers are gonna go, we're gonna start off by creating some of this green color in the very back. And to do that, I'm gonna use a little bit of my olive green. I'm gonna put it right here on my color palette. I'm gonna brighten it up using just a little bit of permanent white. And I'm gonna take some of my water and just start to mix it. And when we mix gouache, we like to kind of have like a nice creamy consistency. Nothing too watery, nothing too sticky. We're looking for something that's gonna go on the paper nice and smooth. I'm 
Now, because I'm using gouache paint, I can come in here and create some of these lines. Don't worry, the banner is going to sit on top of these lines, so they don't have to be, they can be super opaque and the opaque paint's going to come right over it. And if you're using acrylic paint, it will certainly work. All right, now that our green part has dried, we can move on and to, to the next part, we're going to use some cadmium red. We're gonna be creating some of these nice, big, beautiful flowers in the middle. So get out your cadmium red, put a little bit on your palette, just a little bit, because we're gonna make pink out of this cadmium red by using some permanent white. So add white to your red. Mix that white, use a little bit of that red and I'm gonna come in and create these, these flowers. And to do that, it's really, really easy. Just go in and create a little bit of a wonky circle. Since you're overlaying this color onto a green, previous green, you're not gonna to wanna to overwork it. Once you lay it down, don't go back in and uh, smooth out any bubbles or strokes. Just let it dry like that. Otherwise, you're gonna have an opportunity to uh, reactivate that gouache color from underneath and you're gonna get a green uh, color into this pink. So what you lay down on the paper, you're gonna have to do it uh, kind of just once. If you're using acrylic or you're using acrylic gouache, you can uh, go back in and, and layer as much as you want. For these other two flowers, I'm gonna add a little bit more red into our paint mixture. These are just gonna be a, a, a darker flower next to them. So I don't want the same pink, pink color. Come back in and we're gonna do a couple more flowers. like so. All right, now that these have somewhat dried, we actually can move on into another area where we're not gonna overlay on, on some paint. If it is still a little bit wet, you're just gonna wanna be careful it doesn't hit your hand. Otherwise, you're gonna smear the paint. So I'm gonna be using a little bit of cadmium yellow in our painter's palette. Um, we are going to brighten it up using a little bit of permanent white. Using our round one, we're going to mix our yellow paint and we're going to be creating these little flowers up here. Now that we created our yellow flowers, we're gonna come in and do a little bit of these stems. And to do that, we're just gonna take our liner brush, come back into the green paint that we once had to create all this.
line down here. Maybe add a couple lines. All right, now we can move on to our next colored flowers. And we're gonna work on these two little lilac flowers down here using lilac. I'm gonna put a, just a little bit on my painter's palette. Again, I'm gonna brighten it up using a little bit of permanent white. Using my round one, I'm gonna mix that to a nice light lilac color. I'm just gonna be very loose with this, so we're just gonna go like, maybe like. All right, moving on to our next color, we're gonna use a little bit of this cerulean blue to create a little bit of this lupine. We'll add a little bit of permanent white to it. Get a nice mixture going. Let's start at the top here, just kind of All right, now that we have a lot of the flat color down for our flowers, we are gonna come in and get to do some of the more fun part by creating some more of the detail around each one of these flowers. But first, we're gonna start off by using just a little bit of burnt sienna, or a brown if you have that. I'm gonna use just a tiny bit of permanent white. Round one, I'm gonna come in here and create a nice dark brown color. All right, now that we have our burnt sienna down on our flowers, we could come back in and do some of the darker color around all of the flowers. And to start, we're gonna start with our cadmium red, and we're gonna put just a tiny bit back into our color that we had originally going. And we're looking for a darker shade of pink to create some of these nice swooshes around the flowers do this you're just going to want to be very loose and have fun with it. it doesn't have to be too accurate right here Now we can come back in here and just do a little bit of a darker yellow. So I'm gonna get my cadmium yellow again, put it on my cadmium yellow part of the painter's palette. And we're gonna do the little underside. Moving on to the next uh, flower, we're gonna take our lilac again, and we're gonna get a darker shade of this. So we're not gonna add any permanent white to that this time. We're gonna just mix that in to our palette. And we're gonna go on this like underside. And now for the last flower, we're gonna take our cerulean blue again, add just a little bit, and mix that in. Get a nice darker 
blue color. All right, now that we're done with our flowers for now, we're gonna come back in using a lot more of our green colors by creating a little bit more of these ferns and eucalyptus, just a little bit more of this visual interest going on around the bouquet. And to do that, we're gonna use our other green. So since I started off with the olive green, I'm gonna use my moss green, put it right here into my colored palette. So put it right there. This using my liner two brush, add some water into there. Using our original green color, which was olive green for me, I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna do a little bit of detail work on a couple of these leaves back here. Um, by just creating a darker shade of that olive green. For one more detail on these flowers, we're going to add these little yellow dots on the centers of these. So to do that, you can come back in here with your cadmium yellow. I'm gonna take my number zero and come into my yellow paint. All right, we got our beautiful bouquet looking so good. For our next step, we're gonna create this nice, wonderful banner that says Happy Mother's Day. Writing Happy Mother's Day doesn't have to be perfect. It can be just very simple, and so don't get too stressed out. We're gonna make it very fun and very inviting, right? Because this is for our mom. She's gonna love it no matter what. So here we go. We're gonna start by using a um, permanent yellow orange, and I'm gonna just put a little bit on my color palette right there. And we're gonna brighten this up a lot using some permanent white. a little knot right here. Like so. This shows your bravery. Now that we have our banner down, uh, we gotta do a little bit of the dark part of these banners. So we're gonna come back in with a darker shade of our permanent yellow orange that I've been using and put a little bit there on our palette. Kind of go like 
like this. All right, now that our banner is down, we can write Happy Mother's Day. And to do that, we are going to use our burnt sienna or our brown, put a little bit on our color palette. I'm using a double zero, which is a very fine detailing brush. If you have a zero, you can use that as well. Phew, all right. Did you show your bravery on that one? How's your Mother's Day card looking so far? We have one more step and then we are finished with this and we can give it to our mom. And with that last step, we're just gonna create some highlights by going in with our permanent white and adding a little bit of highlights to the flowers and some of these little touches on the banner. So get your permanent white, put it on your color palette and we are going to be using a, we're gonna continue using our double zero or our zero. All right, there we go. We just created a beautiful Mother's Day card for our moms by just creating some very beautiful, simplistic and easy florals and a nice banner with our custom type of saying, Happy Mother's Day. I know that she's gonna appreciate the work that you put into this because it's just something custom, it comes from your heart. And I hope you had a lot of fun painting at home with either your gouache or your acrylics and following along with this tutorial. I had a lot of fun just creating this and I can't wait to give it to my mom and my wife because they're two of the best women in my life. Um, I hope that you created one for someone special and share it with me on Bolter Design Co. You can follow me on Instagram at Bolter Design Co, on Facebook at Bolter Design Co. Or if you'd like, you can subscribe to my channel here at Philip Bolter and please like and maybe hit that notification bell just to get some more of these fun tutorials coming your way. If you'd like, comment below and let me know what type of tutorials you would like to follow along to. Do you want to see some tulips, some daffodils, maybe a landscape? Let me know in the comments below and I'll certainly try to do my best to create that tutorial just for you. Also, please go to bolterdesignco.com for any merch, art prints, or originals that are on the website right now. You can pick yourself up something or even something for your mom. Once again, thank you for joining me here on my channel. It's always a pleasure to create these tutorials. They're so super fun and I'm so glad that you enjoy them. Thank you very much and have a great day.